Hello guys, Robert Battle 1 here, and today I have my Masters of Pendulum structure deck to open for you guys. Now, this structure deck came out just the other day, and I really wanted to buy this, obviously, because it's... The cards in this deck, in my opinion, make one of the, the practically the best, best deck of this format. And I really wanted to get this and open it for you guys, because it's like, amazing. I've already got my... Other, I've already got my free. Of course, I opened one of them just to have a quick peek. But yeah, so let's get in on opening this. And oh, and I chose my beautiful odd eyes map because it just seemed appropriate. We got the new odd eyes. It's just appropriate for it, isn't it? Okay, I'm just destroying the box right now. I don't care. Okay, uh, getting the crap out is the hardest part, I think. So we've got. To start off with our playmat, I believe? Yeah. With the deck list and the information on the back. We've got certain strategy guides and all of that stuff you can do. Booster information. And on the other side, we have a pretty cool playmat. Looks very nice. I wish it was rubber, but what am I going to do? Still a very nice playmat nonetheless. So, yeah. And as always in these things, we have our instruction book, basically telling you all the information in Yu-Gi-Oh! Obviously it doesn't give us all of it, because they don't tell us about all the scrubs in the game and how much money it's going to cost. But yeah, so let's get onto the deck we've been waiting for. Now, let's open this up. Oh, I always love those new card smells. If I can get this open, actually. <laughs> it doesn't want to open. Come on! doesn't really get on open. Crap. There we go. It's starting to open now. There we go. Let's put the rubbish to the side. Okay, for the starting card, we have Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. One of the good cards in the deck. One of the good level 7s you should use. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Kind of reminds me of my Absolute Zero. Favourite card, obviously. So that's the two ultras, which we'll just put up here. Um, next is Noble Noble Dragon Magician, your tuner for the deck. Your Oath Magician, you need to play three of this, regardless. Your Wisdom Eye Magician, or as I'm going to always call him, Insight Magician, because that's a better name. And those are the supers for the deck for it. So we get two ultras and three supers, and now just for the rest of it. So we have Dragon Pulse Magician, uh, Dragon Pit Magician, one of the best cards in the deck. Form Vow Skullback jo Skull Skull Crowbat Joker, another good card. Stargazer Magician, Time Gazer Magician, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon looks so bad in all suit common. It it really does. I I don't like the common. Form of Power Silver Claw, Form of Power Selu Tiger, Form of Power Trump Witch, Metaphys Armed Dragon, Chaos Hunter. Um, Fusely Dragon the Dual Mode Beast, Lila Light Swarm Sorceress, Fencing Fire Ferret, Inner Fire, Nefarious e Archfiend the Eater of Nefariousness, Gigabyte, Goblinberg, a good reprint actually, um, Egg Saber Air Bellion, Magna Drago, Recover, that's all the monsters. Another good card that really helps in the deck, Skyark, Isis, I call it up because that's what it should have been called. So that's good. Field Spell. Pendulum Call, one of the best cards in the deck actually, just allowing you to search out two magicians in the deck is just amazing. Pendulum Shift, Pendulum Rising, good reprint, so Sacred Swords of Seven Stars, another good reprint, Summoners Art, MST, just that one reprint that you always see. Scapegoat. Forbidden Dress, and Polymerization, with a Terraforming, another good reprint. So yeah, there are quite a few good reprints in this deck. Um, Pendulum Back, Powerful Rebirth, decent card. Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare, another good reprint. Uh, Torrential Tribute, good reprint. Eradicating Epidemic Virus, kind of, it's a decent reprint. And finally, Rune Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. 
So, guys, this deck, in my opinion, it's an okay deck. The the structure deck on its own, you couldn't really play on its own. It's got it would be something you would play for fun, but in my opinion, the deck in all together is worth what you pay for it. And also, I think that this is, will be the best deck. When you put all these cards together, it's literally one of the best decks in the format, in my opinion. And I will have a deck profile for you guys, so don't worry. That'll probably be coming sometime next week or tomorrow. And guys, tell me what you think of the deck. Do you think it's worth getting? Do you think it's going to be one of the best decks of the format? Or it will be the best. And please, like, comment, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.